Hi, it's Manic44 here and today I invite you to a short review of Mask from Cygnus Armory. The mask for the review were provided by Cygnus Armory. Face protection in airsoft is very important, after all nobody wants to lose a tooth while playing. Many of us started with either simple mesh marks or something line shown here. But this solution has its drawbacks. Sometimes it's harder to aim in such a mask and they push glasses. And let's face it, it looks so-so. Because I don't really care about the appearance. Comfort of use is more important to me. That's why I made my own mini mask, about which I made an episode. And not long ago I made an even smaller version that I used an on blast game along with my disguise. For people who are looking for a ready, comfortable solution and addition one that looks good, Cygnus Armory has prepared several models that should satisfy those who want to move away from classic mesh masks. But let's start with a small unboxing. Masks come to us in a plastic bag with a cardboard on which, apart from information about the manufacturer, we can find a hologram sticker confirming the originality of the product and washing instructions to which I will come back. In the bag, apart from the mask, we'll also find a short instruction manual in several languages, including what I'm very happy about in Polish. On the mask itself, you will find a sticker with a CE mark, meaning that the product was manufactured in Europe, in this case in Germany. And there is also a label with the manufacturer's logo. The model we'll look at first is Face Warrior, in my case in FG Camouflage, but the manufacturer also has many other color options to choose from. The Face Warrior model is made of 100% perforated polyester material that is very breathable and dries quickly. The Face Warrior model has an elastic band so we can adjust how tightly the mask is on the face. The adjustment is simple and provides a good protection against the mask slipping during the game. In the front part of the mask, hidden under the material, is a stainless steel mesh that protects the teeth. The mesh can be freely bent so that it best fits our face. From the inside we can see the steel mesh, which is covered with a soft padding that moves the mesh away from the mouth, thanks to which the mask is comfortable to run and there is no problem with speaking. The mask can be used with a cap or a helmet. In addition, thanks to the exposed nose, there is no problem with glasses, and their fogging is reduced. During use, the mask can be easily slid off, for example to take a drink, but it will not come off by itself. The next model is Full Face Warrior, in this case in Tropical Camouflage, as before the mask is available in many other color options. The Full Face Warrior model is made of flexible nylon and unlike the previous model has a full balaclava construction, so in my opinion it can be a good choice for slightly colder days or when we do not want to put additional head protection. As in the previous model, here we will find exactly the same steel protective mesh. Of course, the Full Face Warrior model can be used with any glasses or in combination with a hat or a helmet. The mask can also be easily removed to, for example, take a drink. The last model we'll look at is the Face Warrior Plus, in this case in Ranger Green. But, you guess it, it's also available in other colors. The Face Warrior Plus model is made of 94% cotton and 6% elastane. The material is soft, elastic and pleasant to the touch. The steel mesh is mounted exactly the same as in previous models. This model does not have an elastic band, because the material is elastic, the mask is simply pulled over the face, I also block it with a cap but it will also work with a helmet. Of course, there is no problem to use glasses with this mask. It can also be easily removed if necessary. I also have a mask from competition Valhalla, the Loki model, so I can make a small comparison. The materials themselves in both masks are good quality, but the finish on the Valhalla mask is much worse. Cygnus masks are characterized by a much better finish. So much for construction of the mask. The Face Warrior Plus model was with me on several games and it did very well. I could breathe in the mask without any problems. While exhaling through my mouth, I also had no problem with fogging my glasses. Exhaling through my nose was a bit worse. The mask didn't move by itself and I didn't have to adjust it every now and then. I will generally describe it as comfortable. In addition, I must say that it looks much better than any mask I've used so far. The mask itself protects what is most important, that is teeth. I'm used to a covered nose, so at first I didn't feel too confident, but I got used to it quickly. And as you may think, of spite, I got hit in the exposed nose while playing. 
I will just add that contrary to the manufacturer's recommendations that say that do not wash the mask in the washing machine and do not dry it in a dryer, I did exactly that for the test so that you don't have to and I must say that it wasn't a good idea. The mask frayed a bit in the mesh area after such washing and drying, so remember to wash it by hand and air dry it. To sum up, protective masks from Cygnus Armory are made very nicely from good quality materials. I use the Face Warrior Plus mask in a couple of games and I have no complaints about it. I use it myself in CQB games, where the lack of nose cover can be a bit more noticeable than in the forest games, but I didn't have to worry about damaging my teeth, I had no problem with aiming or with fogging my glasses and pushing them off. I would recommend the Cygnus Armory masks to people who care most about comfort because they do not interfere while playing in any way, but also to those who care about very good protection of teeth thanks to the stainless steel mesh but also to people who care about appearance, because let's face it, the masks look just great and 100 times better than any standard mesh mask. I would recommend the masks also to people who will not be disturbed by a potential bruise on the cheek or the nose, because these parts of the face, unlike ordinary mesh masks, are not protected. At the time of writing the review, each model cost 29.99 euros, but with my discount code you can further reduce this price a bit. The code can be found together with others in the description of the video. That's all for today. Let me know if you liked today's short review and what do you think about Cygnus Armory products. And if you use them, how do you like them? And for now, thanks for watching and see you next time.